Hi, I'm Dr. Melissa West, and today's question comes to us from Maya Tigra, who's doing research for graduate school, and she asks me, what is a yoga teacher's responsibility in relation to their students and society? So I think yoga teachers have a huge ethical relationship and responsibility to their students and society. And I believe Donna Farhi does an excellent job of discussing this in her book, Teaching Yoga, Exploring the Student-Teacher Relationship. I believe our ethical responsibility as teachers begins with our own yoga practice of yoga, meditation, and journaling each day, looking after our own backyard, so to speak, so that we are not taking our own issues into the classroom as much as possible and asking our students to care for us. Of course, the ethical guidelines are beautifully laid out in our yogic texts, the Yoga Sutras and the Bhagavad Gita. Following the yamas and the niyamas, the yamas are the social disciplines and refer to the way we behave in society. Ahimsa, nonviolence, satya, truthfulness, asteya, non-stealing, brahmacharya, sexual responsibility, and I think this is a huge responsibility in the yoga community. Aparigraha, take only what you need. The niyamas are directed towards yourself and are just as important. Saucha, cleanliness, santosha, contentment, tapas, commitment to your own practice, svadhyaya, commitment to self-study um, and study, and isvara pranidana, surrender to a higher power. So here's a link to the classes that I taught on the yamas and the niyamas in the show notes. The Bhagavad Gita teaches us about the importance of karma yoga, selfless action, which just means action without attachment to outcome. The Bhagavad Gita teaches us how important it is to find our path and do our work, that spiritual life and work are not separate things, but that our responsibility as spiritual beings is to work with our whole hearts without being attached to the fruits of our labor. I think as yoga teachers, we have a responsibility to be familiar with these texts and to integrate them into our lives and bring them to life, really live them in our lives and be a living example of these ancient spiritual teachings to the best of our ability in a humble and real way. So thank you so much for your questions, Maya, and thank you so much for sending in your questions. I absolutely love them. Please leave your comments below. If you have questions, you can always send them to me through Facebook at Your Namaste Yoga, through YouTube at Living Your Yoga, on my website at melissawest.com, or you can send them to me at my email address, info at melissawest.com. Thanks so much. Finding a great yoga class is becoming more costly and difficult. Now there's a better way to self-improvement in the privacy of your own home. Visit Dr. Melissa West at melissawest.com and start getting free weekly online videos Real yoga for real people.